Open the boxes with your box cutter carefully to avoid scratching the finished panel surface. Neatly lay out all the parts and hardware and identify them using the parts list. We recommend placing finished panels on a towel to prevent accidentally scratching the surface during assembly. Place the drawer front face down on your work surface and apply a thin layer of wood glue to the dovetail joints. Install the drawer sides by aligning the dovetail joints and using your rubber mallet to tap them in place, assuring they are firmly connected. Slide the drawer bottom panel into the grooves of the sides and gently tap with your rubber mallet to eliminate any gaps. Insert the drawer back panel by aligning the dovetail joints and assuring the bottom panel is properly seated in the joint grooves. Gently tap with your rubber mallet to ensure a tight fit. Make sure all drawer panels are properly aligned before tacking them together with your nail gun on all four corners. Note, we recommend always wearing safety glasses when using nail guns or other pneumatic tools. Turn your drawer box over so the bottom is facing upward. Attach the soft close triggers to the front of the drawer box with your drill and screws. Locate the cabinet face frame and place it face down on your work surface. Use your drill and screws to attach the metal brackets at the top, middle, and bottom on each side of the face frame. Apply a thin layer of wood glue to all joint grooves on the back of the frame. Insert the side panels into the joint grooves of the frame with the notched corner for the toe kick facing downward and towards the bottom. Be sure to align the grooves for the bottom panel, then use your drill and screws to attach the metal brackets to the side panels. Insert the bottom panel into the joint grooves of the frame and side panels. Gently tap the panels with your rubber mallet to eliminate any gaps and ensure a tight fit. Next, slide the back panel into the joint grooves of the side panels with the framed side facing up. Make sure the panels are properly seated and aligned before securing the back and side panels with your narrow crown gun. Then, use your drill and screws to attach metal brackets connecting the bottom panel to the face frame and side panels. Set your cabinet box on its back and locate your toe kick. Set the toe kick in place, making sure it's properly aligned before securing it with your Senko fastener. Locate your undermount drawer glides and glide supports. Install the glide supports into the pre-drilled holes on the inside of the back panel with your drill and screws. Set your cabinet box upright and locate your L-shaped corner brackets. Drill all L-shaped brackets to the top corners of the cabinet box using the screws provided. Next, insert the undermount glides onto the glide supports and secure them to the face frame with your drill and screws. Extend the glides on the cabinet box and place your drawer box on top. Push the drawer back until it clicks into place. Locate the door front and place it face down on your work surface. Insert the hinges into the large pre-drilled holes on the back of the door and attach them with your drill and screws. Then attach the door to the cabinet face frame. Adjust the hinges to properly align the door to the desired position. Insert your shelf pins to the desired height and angle the shelf panel into place. Apply rubber bumpers to the inside corners of the drawer's face panel and door. Congratulations on completing your assembly.